Hello! In the next few minutes, I'm going to explain agroinfiltration and why it's a useful tool for plant breeding. In plant genetics, it is important to understand how genes control the expression of different traits. For example, what gene makes a beefsteak tomato so large while a cherry tomato is so small? Agrobacterium tumefaciens is a bacterium that naturally infects plants and uses the plant cells to express its DNA. Researchers can use this process to insert a gene they are studying into the plant and examine the transient expression of the gene within a cell. When scientists have identified a gene of interest, they can check what it does by putting it in a tobacco leaf. No, not that kind of tobacco, but it's in the same genus. Young tobacco plants have large, flat leaves that are easy to use for this kind of experiment. The researcher puts their gene of interest in a plasmid and puts the plasmid in the agrobacterium cells. When agrobacterium is introduced to the plant cell, it will express its genes, including the new one. The gene of interest has a fluorescent tag so we can find the proteins it makes. But why do we care? If we know in what part of the cell proteins from the gene are expressed, we can make inferences about their function. For example, we can find the proteins in the cytoplasm, nucleus, or cytoskeleton. With this knowledge, we can screen for the gene of interest, like the fruit size gene. This means we can make better selections before the plants grow fruit, or we can know which genes to put together to get the best fruit. Let's see agroinfiltration in action. First, we take our agrobacterium cells with our gene of interest and fluorescent marker. We can express one, two, or even three genes at a time to see how they interact. Then, prick the underside of a leaf with a pin and inject the solution. You can use multiple leaves per plant to make sure you have enough samples. Let's watch the agroinfiltration process again. Notice how the solution permeates the leaf. Pick a leaf that is mature, but not too old. When the leaves are too old, they become too thick to use. If the plant is flowered, it's too late. Now we wait while the new agrobacterium transfers the DNA into the cells, and the cells make the protein from our gene of interest. Don't forget to label your plants! After two days, we cut out a leaf section. This section has hundreds of cells in it. We view the leaf section under a confocal microscope. The microscope must have different colored lasers so we can see the fluorescent sections. Here are some results of agroinfiltration. Great! Now we can use this knowledge to make better decisions when breeding plants.